Ever since the release of Alien vs. Predator Requiem in 2007, fans of the franchise have been eagerly waiting for a third installment. Over the years, there have been rumors and speculation about the possibility of Alien vs. Predator 3, with hints and indications suggesting a new movie may be in development. While there hasn't been any official confirmation from filmmakers or production companies, this video will delve into the latest rumors surrounding the potential third installment. It will explore unproduced scripts and ideas used in video games and books, and also discuss the current status of the franchise under Disney. If you're a casual moviegoer, you might find yourself wondering about the fate of Alien vs. Predator 3, especially with the recent release of the Predator prequel Prey on Disney+, and an intriguing Easter egg hinting at a crossover tease. The journey of bringing Alien vs. Predator to the screen began with a subtle nod in Predator 2. In this film, Danny Glover's character Mike Harrigan finds himself in the throne room aboard a Predator ship. As a prize for his victory in battle, he is given a flintlock pistol and notices a collection of skulls on the wall, one of which belongs to a xenomorph from the Alien franchise. This moment confirmed a shared cinematic universe for both franchises, a concept not yet commonplace in the film industry. Despite initial skepticism from James Cameron, who believed that pitting the two iconic characters against each other would harm the integrity of their respective franchises, Paul W.S. Anderson and 20th Century Fox decided to pursue an Alien vs. Predator movie. The concept gained momentum with the success of Alien vs. Predator comics. The resulting film, released in 2004 with a PG-13 rating to appeal to a broader audience, grossed over $177 million. However, it faced criticism for its hokey storyline and toned-down gore, earning it the label of a critical disappointment. While its place in the overall canon remains unconfirmed, especially after Ridley Scott's return to the Alien franchise with Prometheus and Covenant, the venture marked an ambitious crossover that had a significant impact on fans and the cinematic landscape. Alien vs. Predator 2, directed by Colin and Greg Strauss, commonly known as the Brothers Strauss, had been widely regarded as a disaster deserving of harsh criticism. The directing duo, who had initially pitched for the first movie and a Wolfenstein film that caught Fox's attention, were brought in for the sequel due to their perceived suitability for the ambitious project within the budget constraints. While the financial performance of the film was decent, grossing $130 million against a $40 million budget, the movie itself faced severe backlash. Many consider it one of the worst films ever made. The storyline is criticized for being dreadful, and the physical effects and makeup are obscured by frenetic editing and poor lighting. The film essentially transforms two iconic cinematic monsters, the alien and the predator, into generic slasher villains, disappointing fans and leaving a lasting negative impact on the franchise. The prospects of an Alien vs. Predator 3 were significantly impacted by the reception of AVP Requiem, effectively putting the brakes on any immediate plans for a sequel, particularly with the brother Strauss at the helm. In a revealing interview with Gizmodo, the directing duo shared their original vision for AVP 3, which would have taken the epic battle away from Earth and into space. The proposed ending for AVP Requiem, as pitched by the Strauss brothers, involved transitioning from the Predator gun seen at the film's conclusion to a Wayland yutani spaceship logo heading towards an alien planet. The scene would have unfolded on the surface of the alien planet, showcasing a tribe of Predators engaged in a hunt against a colossal winged creature known as King Alien. The overarching idea was to establish a connection between the Predator technology showcased in AVP Requiem and the technological advancements that eventually enabled human space travel. This narrative thread would have set the stage for AVP-3 as a prequel to the Alien franchise, taking place 100 years in the future. However, Ridley Scott's Prometheus, released in 2012, ultimately explored the prequel territory for the Alien series, altering the trajectory of the proposed AVP-3 storyline. Liam O'Donnell's unused Alien vs. Predator 3 concept. Recently, Alien vs. Predator Galaxy revealed an intriguing scoop about an unused concept for Alien vs. Predator 3 by Liam O'Donnell, 
who collaborated closely with the Strauss brothers during the production of Alien vs. Predator Requiem. Drafted in 2007 while working on the sequel, O'Donnell's treatment was set 20 years in the future, with the narrative unfolding in Africa on Earth to keep costs manageable. The story follows a UN peacekeeper entangled in a conflict between a tribal leader and a rebel group opposed to Wayland yutani Corporation's growing influence. The treatment also introduces the return of the alien queen, surviving under the ice due to global warming. On the Yaucha side, two formidable predators, referred to as twins, engage with special ops soldiers and the alien queen. Although this concept never materialized into a film, it provides a fascinating glimpse into the creative possibilities that were considered. The Hunt, Alien vs. Predator, Peter Biggs' Unproduced Script Dating back to 1991, Peter Briggs, one of the writers of the first Hellboy movie, penned a script titled The Hunt, Alien vs. Predator. Briggs was the initial contributor to the project, and despite his script being rejected, it laid the groundwork for the film that would eventually be picked up by Paul W.S. Anderson almost a decade later. The script, unrelated to the eventual Alien vs. Predator movie, closely aligns with the original Aliens vs. Predator comic book by Dark Horse Comics from 1990. Set in the future, the script introduces the Colonial Marines, providing a solid foundation for a potential Alien vs. Predator 3 full movie. Alien vs. Predator under Disney Following Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox in 2020, the rights to the Alien, Predator, and Alien vs. Predator franchises became Disney's responsibility. While plans for the Alien and Predator franchises were promptly laid out, with an Alien TV show in 2023 and a new Predator movie in 2022, little movement has occurred for Alien vs. Predator. In 2022, a new book titled Aliens vs. Predator – Ultimate Prey was released, offering an anthology of 15 stories spanning different time periods and locations, including Earth. The status of a potential Alien vs. Predator 3 film remains uncertain under Disney's stewardship. The possibility of getting Alien vs. Predator 3 remains uncertain, with various perspectives and hints over the years, providing both optimism and skepticism. Sigourney Weaver expressed her disappointment with the plans for Alien vs. Predator back in 2015, revealing that she even requested her character to be killed off in Alien 3 upon hearing about the crossover. However, Peter Briggs, who wrote the original sample for the film, acknowledged his lack of enthusiasm for the existing Alien vs. Predator movies, but maintained that a fantastic installment could still be made by someone in the future. Shane Black, who starred in the original Predator and directed The Predator in 2018, expressed hope for another film at San Diego Comic-Con, suggesting that he didn't think Alien vs. Predator was dead. The planned follow-up to 2010's Predators, if writer Alex Litvak had his way, would have brought both franchises together canonically. He envisioned a story where, after returning to Earth, the characters realize they've been on ice for 300 years merging the alien and predator worlds with the introduction of space marines. However, Dan Trachtenberg, director of Prey, mentioned in an interview that another Alien vs. Predator movie would be far down the road if it were to happen again. The future of the franchise under Disney ownership adds another layer of uncertainty. In conclusion, while there have been expressions of interest and ideas for a potential Alien vs. Predator 3, there is no concrete information or timeline for the development of such a film at this point. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.